friends we know that femto laser is very useful in doing capsular axis in intumescent and pre-intumescent cataracts where if we try to do manual rexis, the rexis tends to run to the periphery. But if you don't have a femto, this is the way to go. We can see this is a white cataract and it appears like an intumescent cataract. By this time, the main incision and a side put has been made on the right side. The anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. The dye is being washed out at this moment. As we touch the anterior capsule, we can see that the cortex gets displaced. It means there is some intumescence in this case. So, this is viscoelastic substance. This is not cohesive viscoelastic substance. This is just SPMC. Now, the anterior capsule is incised right at the center. In this case, no oily fluid came out, but there is lot of convexity of the anterior capsule. And if we try to do rexis at on go, it may run to the periphery. So the safe technique is do a small rexis. And now aspirate some lens matter through this small opening. You can use bimanual IA. Here I am using a Simco cannula. You can see that I am squeezing out some lens matter through this small opening. And this is enough. We don't have to remove all the cortex just to decrease the intralenticular pressure to such a level that we can safely do a rexis. Now SPMC is injected again and then a nick is made at the margin of this small rexis. Uterator forceps is used and an adequate sized rexis is done in this way. That's it. So if you don't have a femto, this is the way to go.